Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with The Movement System. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to best set up your training week if you're training for a half marathon. There's a ton of research out there on how to set up an aerobic training program and which protocol is most effective. That's what we're gonna evaluate here and we're gonna break down if this training week or if this training week is gonna be more effective based on the scientific research. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about the difference between what's called a polarized training model and a threshold training model. The polarized training model is a big split between low intensity aerobic base type training and a little bit of very high intensity training. So for example, a training week using the polarized training model might look like this where we're gonna have three aerobic based runs at very low intensity, and then we may have one higher intensity interval day. For that interval day, we might be doing three minutes on, three minutes off of higher intensity work for a shorter duration than our aerobic base day. We're gonna compare this polarized training model with the approach that a lot of recreational runners take, which is more of a threshold model. A threshold model may look like this, where we're gonna have one lower intensity base day and then one kind of hard threshold type day where you're chasing after your race pace type numbers. For example, if you run a half marathon at an eight minute per mile pace, you may be running this threshold day with 20 minute intervals at around that eight minute per mile pace or even a seven and a half minute per mile pace with short maybe one minute rest between two or three 20 minute intervals. That's just one example of what a threshold type workout might look like. It's generally moderate intensity and pretty close to the lactate threshold. Threshold type running is pretty popular because it feels hard. It feels like you're getting a really good run because you're going out there, you're pushing close to your lactate threshold, you're pushing your race pace, and overall you get home and you feel like you got a good run in. So some recreational runners even go so far as to only do threshold runs, where every run they're just going out for 30, 40 minutes and trying to make it feel like a hard run. So what we're gonna evaluate now though is what the scientific literature says about that type of running approach and if the polarized model or if more of a threshold type model works better for most runners. All right, so first we're gonna look at this systematic review, the effect of periodization and training intensity distribution on middle and long distance running performance, a systematic review. So this is a systematic review and it includes many other studies into one big study. So this isn't gonna give us specific takeaways of you know, a certain group had this percent improvement in performance and the other group had this percent. Rather, this level of evidence is giving us some big picture takeaways on which training model seems to be giving the best results. And what this research article said was that according to the results of this analysis, pyramidal and polarized training are more effective than threshold training. We're not gonna really evaluate the pyramidal model in this video. This is more about polarized versus threshold. But just know that training at different intensities and not just in the moderate intensity range is going to be more effective than doing all of your training or most of your training in the middle zone. That's overall what this research article is saying. All right, now let's take a look at another study and then start to take away some more practical takeaways. All right, so let's take a look at this study. Polarized versus threshold training intensity distribution on endurance sport performance, a systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials. This is a really good study that's considered high level evidence. And the takeaway from this study was that the pooled results demonstrate a moderate effect favoring the polarized group over the threshold group. These results suggest that polarized may lead to greater improvements in endurance performance than threshold training. So what this is indicating that at the high level, when we look at the overall body of literature, most people are going to probably benefit from using a more polarized model than training significant volume at threshold. That said, if we look into this a little bit more specifically, individual results may vary. And here's what I mean by that. The effect size for change in endurance performance on a wide range of measures was 0.85 to 2.8, which is considered to be very large. This is for the polarized training model. The threshold model ranges from negative 0.42 to 2.16, indicating that some athletes had a large positive effect. So at an individual level, we actually may have some athletes who do really well with threshold training and respond positively there and don't respond. They respond in the lower end of the polarized training group. So while the overall body of evidence, if we're looking at a large group of people, we see more benefit to the polarized approach, some individual athletes may benefit more from a threshold training approach. 
It's also important to consider long term that we might want to change our approach throughout the year. For example, as we approach our competition, we usually want to shift some of our volume towards more threshold work, whereas the majority of off-season work, we probably want to use more of a polarized approach. The reason that we would do this is that the threshold specific work may dial in some race pace specific adaptations that we want to see near the race time. But if we try doing that specific race type threshold work in the off season, we may actually burn ourselves out. And there's some evidence for this. For example, this study showed that the traditional threshold high volume and high intensity training models have displayed limited improvement in actual race pace in highly trained individuals while frequently resulting in overreaching or overtraining. So this is one thing that coaches see a lot, runners see a lot, and has been substantiated by the literature as well, that doing high volumes of training at threshold can be really taxing on the body, you can be recovering suboptimally, and may lead to overtraining if we're doing that, especially year round or in off season training, when we should be accommodating to a higher volume of relatively low intensity and recoverable training. One important point that I wanna make is that if we look for it, we can find evidence that suggests that the threshold training model is more effective or similarly effective to the polarized training model. Especially if we're looking for individual studies, we can find something like this that showed no difference. But it's important to look at the overall body of literature and not just look for individual studies that are confirming your training approach. Overall, the evidence indicates that more than 60% of runners are doing too much volume at threshold and not enough volume of base work. What we should take away from all the literature that was presented today is that there probably is a benefit to shifting a little bit more of our volume towards base work or more intense intervals and away from that threshold type volume, especially in the off season. I'm gonna use this evidence to design my own half marathon training program based on what the research is saying, and hopefully this guides you to improvements in your training week approach as well. If you guys do have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I will be making follow-up videos to this on the channel, so make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss any of those, and also follow along on Instagram at The Movement System. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.